Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a disassembly of, and first impressions, of the Chaburkov Small Streesh. So this came in uh, from Backpack B, and uh, you can see there, my initial problem with it is the detent. Now, I do like the drop action. Um, I like the inset liner lock a lot. Uh, if you give it a good flick, you can get it with the reverse flick lefty. Now, if you're right-handed, you're probably not going to mind because, I mean, a simple little flick really does get it out there. So I see why the detent is the way it is. And you can actually front flip this with the way the jimping is. I think it was made to do that, to be honest. Um, and that works very well. And I think that's part of the reason they have that detent that way. Plus, it just seems to be a Russian thing. They like lighter detents. Uh, ergonomically, I have a large glove size hand. Um, this knife fits almost like a glove in my hand. Uh, my finger doesn't, or my thumb doesn't quite land on that jimping. It kind of stretches out to here, but, you know, it works. Um, the blade is nice. Uh, it's M390. It's a decent uh, thickness. Not, not thick at all. I wouldn't say it's super thin, but... Um, you know, it's definitely on the thinner side, I guess. Um, I'm supposing it cuts very well. Let me get some paper to screw this up with. There. You can see it cuts. I'm not going to go farther than that because I suck at it. And uh, it's just going to make things awkward. Um, so, yeah. Overall, it's a cool knife. Love the raw titanium look on everything. Uh, you have this kind of bead blast, I would call it. On the blade isn't my favorite type of blade finish for a couple reasons uh, i don't like that bead blast rust rust quicker than anything they're probably the easiest thing to do i don't know if that's true or not but they seem to be used on fullers a lot and that might just be because of how you can get in there and i don't know if that makes sense um let me try to make sense of this statement so you will always see bead blasts in these types of like fuller cutout deals. And I think it's because they can get in there and do the bead blast a lot easier than a stone wash or a satin. I don't know. But there has to be a reason why it's done almost every time you have a fuller like that. Um, so that's my theory for right now anyway. Um, yeah, clip is nice. Um, it is kind of a bear to get in your pocket but once you get it passed it goes in and out fairly easily um, left-handed there you can see the front flipper works great inset liner lock so you don't have to worry about lock bar pressure or anything like that you don't have a thumb stud uh, you have a we well, do but it's on the wrong side so you get the reverse flick if you get your other finger out of the way so the, my problem with it is I always do this Oh, there you go. So I'm already used to it. I do it where it kind of like catches my index finger. So as long as you keep that finger out of the way and fire, it shoots out of there. Um, again, light detent, but um, it's it's not like abhorrent. It's just not great for the reverse flick lefty, which it was not built to do. So fair enough, right? All right. Uh, I think that's it for like first impressions. I really like it. Uh, big thanks to Backpack B for loaning it in. So I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking it's going to be T8 and then T6. That's what I'm thinking. So let's give that a shot. He told me I could take it apart, so I'm going to do it. It's on you, Brent. Look at that. Is, is that black goop, or is that um, part of the design? Let's see. Nope, oh, that's black tar in there. That's your, uh, it's probably just your oil from stuff. You know, stuff. Let's see, T6. All right, nice and simple. That should be it, to be honest. Oh, okay. Nice and gentle with the blade. Uh-oh. -uh. Okay, so it looks like possibly the clip goes through the other side. And I'm going to have to take this guy out. Might be a longer screw. Let's see what happens as we thread this out. No. Interesting. 
I can see the clip. You see that? It's kind of held in right there along with the liner maybe? I don't know. Hmm. All right. Well, we only got one screw left, so let's take that bad boy out. Ah, okay. Hang on. Those two were for that side. Now we're coming apart. I don't know what that was about. That was weird. Pardon my snorting. Uh, interesting bearings. Okay, so Russian-made knife. Uh, I'm assuming to work off. Um. Yeah, this thing's dirty as shit. Okay. Yeah, this is what I think sometimes. People send me knives that they think are dirty. <laughs> and those are the times where they're like, yeah, you can clean it, dude. Look at this stuff. There's like blue stuff. So we might be able to really help the action on this guy. Even though it was pretty good, it felt like. Um, let's take these out. Guys, knifepivotlube.com, of course. You can... Um, Use my code, Lefty10, to get 10% off your order. Just a lot of schmutzy schmutz in here. Man, I think it's Loctite, but... I mean, who knows? I don't know how much uh, Brent used this. And where he got it from and all that good stuff. So I don't know if he's a big maintenance guy. I don't know any of that. So I can't really speak to it. I think I'm going to have to get in there with some alcohol too. Because this is some nasty shit. Look at this. It's like blue sludge coming out of there. Let's see if I can wipe that off and reuse it. Try not to use a ton of these just randomly. Man, blue shit. Yeah, this definitely helped the action cleaning this out. I would be tempted to put bearings in here, but, you know, it's not my knife. And, because these are steel bearings, which honestly should not be used in knives, really. I mean, they're just being cheap, I feel like. Nope, lost the tip. That's what she said. Uh, man, this is gross. Nope. UPS guy just showed up. See what he's got. Waiting on that uh, Sega ha pattern F5 from Urban EC. Look at this. Stuff's just coming out of the bearings, man. That's disgusting. I almost need to soak these in some alcohol to get all that shit off of there. It's disgusting. Do, 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 do. Just working on some knives. Ew, it's everywhere. Dude, what in the hell, man? How does it even happen? Like, does the Loctite melt and then... Sorry, I got windows open today. No AC. It's feeling good today. Um, Does the Loctite, like, melt and then... I don't know how the hell it gets out of the pivot into there unless somebody just had no idea what they were doing. Okay, let's see. And I'm not saying that was Brent. I'm just saying something's up with his naff. So here, let's just load up on some alky. Get these suckers in there and just see if we can clear it out that way. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that looks better. I might have some like plastic bearings that I haven't used in something else, and I could see. Might try that. But I might try it with the stock ones first and just see how it goes. I think we're clear. We're clear. Get a little more on here. Try to get in the crevices here. Yeah, it's just like blue shit coming out. Sorry, guys. This is just all about the blue shit. <laughs> Trying to get it 
Ugh. Yeah, okay. Clean out this side. Clean everything while we're at it. If this was my knife, I'd probably be bending this lock bar a little bit to strengthen that detent. Um, you just pull it that way, but I'd have to take it out. You see these three screws? So I'm guessing two of them at least hold in the clip, and then third one also helps hold in the liner. Um, and that's how you have that inset liner lock. It's literally just this sliver of steel right here. Very cool design. Um, definitely a cool design. I like that because it... Um, it works better for lefties, so that's why. That's why I like it, okay? Shut up. All right, is there any shit anywhere else? Jesus, okay. Glad I did take this apart. All right, so let me just look at these bearings. Yeah, there's still some schmutz in there. I mean, they're definitely gonna run better. Let me see what I have. I might at least have some ceramic quarter inches that I can put in there for them. They don't have to be skiffs or anything. Although I might have a shitload of skiffs right now anyway. See, I was thinking these big boys right here, they're like um, Kaiser bearings or something, which they're good if they just, uh, they might be too big. Yeah, see they tend to, for some reason those are just like huge quarter inch bearings. These might work though. Those are like Riot bearings. No, what the hell? Hang on a second, where's the pivot? All right, let me clean this while I'm at it. Jeez, everything is just like coated in this shit. Oh my goodness, Just look at that. That's all from the freaking pivot screw and the pivot. So, they are at least quarter inch. They might be five millimeters, but look at this. They don't fit over that hump in there, whereas these do. Which is interesting. It's almost like set in there. Which would make me think, like, these are quarter inch, I think, right? Do they fit over that hump? Yes, they do. Weird, but these don't? Huh. They must be smaller somehow. So let's just do that then. Get another one of those out. Make sure they're the same. Yep, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna swap the bearings to ceramic at least. These are brass caged steel bearings. And obviously steel is not as good as ceramic when it comes to you know um, smoothness, comes to rusting, comes to a lot of things. Um, so let's see, I'll have to find a bag or something to put those in for him. All right, so the pivot was on the show side, it would have been through here. Is it D-shaped in any way? No, it's a classic Russian here. I mean, you have essentially, let me get in there. You have essentially a, um, a spinning pivot with tooling on one side. <laughs> it's just not a good, um, Look at that, Jesus Christ. Let me get in there with this guy. Let me load it up first. Sorry guys, it's a lot of cleaning here. But, it's worth it. You know, a lot of times I take apart a knife, it's freaking just sparkling clean because it's brand new. Um, which is nice too, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to see what cleaning can do to a knife. All right, let that dry out a little bit. So essentially, this is gonna go through here, 
and then you'll see there's no like spinning anything, right? Um, there's nothing to stop it. So you end up with a spinning pivot and tooling on one side. It's just not a good idea, honestly, but who am I? So I'm gonna use the new KPL Ultralight, which is gonna work well with like lightweight blades and such. I'm testing it out basically uh, to see how it does. I'm gonna aim the bearings at the blade like so. And then I'm going to put a little, oh, a little here and here. Clean that up a little. Stop pin is right here. Are you dirty as hell too? Jesus. <laughs> All right, there we go. Pop that bad boy in. Oh, come on. I need it to go in straight for sure. That is very important. There we go. All right, now it's in there all the way. Yep, okay. So then we're gonna put a little here and here. Put our second bearing on like so. Lay this down, we get some heavy out. Put that right there. And on our detent ball, just a little. Okay, so now we should be able to put this on. You guys are seeing all this. Yeah. Let me put my glasses back on. Yeah, I went to the eye doctor today and I need glasses, turns out. But I'm also wearing blue light glasses, see if that helps with what's been going on with me. So, I feel a lot better today, which is good. So, hopefully that continues. I think the problem is that bearing didn't want to, like, seat in there. So, hang on. Oh, wait. See how the pivot's not popping all the way through? That's concerning me right now, so could be I just need to tighten it but let's see let's see what that does yeah, it definitely needs to come through more there we go all right so these screws are all the same so it doesn't really matter Just giving them a little bit. I'm not going crazy. Be careful with them T6s. Now this driver doesn't have a ton of torque, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, so we're actually centered almost, looks like. Now we still got play. I'm probably gonna Loctite it once I get it to where I want, but I just wanted to test it first. A little bit of play, let's see. Yeah, so I mean, I wouldn't say the action is like, that much better um sometimes cleaning doesn't do that necessarily uh, now that might break into where it is it's definitely smoother i can tell that but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to drop shut more you can hear the i think the ceramics trying to wear in a path which is going to happen because it was steel before so it might just be a little bit different on the uh on the uh, steel, on the blade, sorry. So I'm just gonna drop, so when you wanna lock tight, <laughs> you just wanna put a little bit in the threads. That's all I want. Just a little, little bit, and it'll work itself in, and then it'll lock tight, because I'm gonna let it sit. That's another key. If you're gonna lock tight something, you wanna make sure, again, I'm not saying that Brent was the one who did this. 
Um, just saying in general, I want it to be tight. So far, we're not spinning over here, which is good. That's a that's locked tight. I mean, that thing is tight as shit. I guess that was too much. Supposing we want it to drop, right? Dead nuts. There it is. He's a little bit of play. And that could be the bearings. I don't know. That could be the difference there. Let's try. Let's just see if skips fit in here. Right? Let's do it. If they make it better, who cares? I think I got a few pairs. A few pairs, he says. Apparently, you got to take all the screws out to get the knife apart. I don't know. It's weird to me. Maybe just these will do it. I don't know. Nope. All of them. If anything, that one's different. It's a little longer, I think, but that's it. That is all of them, right? Yeah. Whoop. Okay. Could just be those bearings don't want to work as well. I don't know. I'm just making shit up now. So let's see what I got. Quarter inch, right? Quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. I have... Damn, I got a lot of Gillians. So they are like 20 bucks, but I got a lot of them. So... I think I can hook a brother up. At least we can see if they might not even work like those other ones didn't, you know? Yeah. Let's see if it fits over this thing I'm a bobber. Looks like it does. Man, it's so weird how they do that, but yeah. Yeah, and if that doesn't work, we'll just go to, uh, we'll put the stock ones back in. I mean, I guess it just feels different because, I don't know why, actually, but whatever. Kind of using the pivot as a placeholder to get everything in place, and then I can go back and add Loctite or whatever. Although I kind of already did that, so might be good. Eh, it looks like the longer one. Definitely a good construction. I mean, it's coming apart, going back together very quickly. I really enjoy that. Makes my life so much easier when I'm doing this stuff to just not have to, you know, deal with all that crap. So that didn't seem good. Let's see. Could just be the diameters and everything is it's not good for this. Let's see. And we have play, so hang on. Still have play. Yeah, see those bearings aren't, they're not making it around that. They're not making it around that weird inner disc thing, you know? It might be something that wears in over time, but it's just not, it's not happening. So let's just go to stock. I'll try to clean them up a little more. Sorry about all this. I'm sure you guys didn't want to watch me do this for 24 minutes already on a very simple construction I mean very simple
Can't say I didn't try, man. Put some Gillians in that sucker. Wasn't able to get it with those either, so. And I couldn't get any plastic ones in there, right? Didn't I try yet? So we're going stock. I do still see some schmutz in there, so I'm going to try to blow it out without blowing the balls out. See that shit coming off of there? I mean, it's disgusting. Ah, yeah, that blue shit is just like on there. And then... Sorry, I know this has to be boring, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Call Ghostbusters. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Trying to make sure the bitch is clean. What's the point, right? It's the point of doing this if I'm going to half-ass it. So, that's the way I look at it. The only other theory I have is maybe my ultralight KPL isn't the best for this, but I don't think that would be the case. All right, face that way. Still got plenty on there, yeah. So, and maybe they, they prefer to face the other way because of that cage, do you think? Instead of like this, or like, no, because I have them like this. I think that's how they were, right? If this doesn't work, I'm going to try it the other way and then call it a day. Then maybe it was that. I don't know. This pivot's big enough. I might be able to use one of those uh, O-rings instead of Loctite, actually. Might try that. I'm going to try to just put in this bottom one and see if I can see if the action's going to work or not before I start screwing everything else in. Yeah, see that? It just wants to work better on those bearings, which is fine. Hey, you want to use your bearings? I'm good with that knife. It's just not the best for, you know, you're talking about rust and whatnot, but I do have KPL on them, which is going to prohibit that, so it's fine. I just don't prefer to have steel bearings in my knives. But hey, it's not my knife. <laughs> Yeah, it still feels kind of weird. You hear that? There's some kind of grit in there. I don't know. I'm going to try the bearings the other way, and then I'm going to call it quits. Maybe just... That's just how the knife is, and I didn't notice, you know? I'm not saying it's bad. It just seems like it was better before I took it apart, if that makes sense. And I might drop in some regular KPL, too, just to be safe here. Jesus. Okay, screws. So I'm going to put these in the other way, this way instead, and see if that does anything. I can't remember which way they were in there, but...
right. Maybe. Hard to tell though, just from that. I gotta get everything back in here. What's up here, buddy? Why don't you wanna go in? Something wasn't aligned. Again, I'm pretty sure those are all the same screws, so I'm not too worried about it. Definitely some play, but it seems better. Yep, no play at all, and it's much smoother than it was, so yeah. All right, so, cool. Let's do this. Tighten everything up. And then, just to see. Because of the size of this pivot, see how thick that is? Should be able to use one of these. These are from OCD for EDC. I think they changed it so they're different sizes now. Um, when I got them, I got 15 of them and they're all the same size. And basically you can put this over the pivot screw and, instead of Loctite. And with these Russian knives, I've noticed with CKF knives uh, as well, it works perfectly. See how it fits almost perfectly around that pivot? And then you don't need Loctite. We'll see how it works, of course. Depending on the pivot style, it doesn't always work. So, dead centered. No play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is money. Let's see if we can loosen it a little bit. It's the tiniest bit of play. smooth it's enough play to bother me i don't know if it would bother brent at all tooling is really good no play at all i mean it is a freaking rock okay centering dead nuts perfect and then just because i freaking took this thing apart 70 times I'm gonna put a little bit of heavy into that detent ball area just in case I didn't get enough on there oh yeah all right there is your small streesh from Chaburkoff Knives. Um, sorry about the long video, but this is the process when you take a knife apart. Sometimes, you, you know, you try to switch the bearings, you flip them around, you just figure out what works best for each knife, to be honest. It just comes down to each knife and what that individual knife prefers. I usually, I used to just have a process, right? The bearings always face this way. You know, this goes this way, this does that. You can't use steel, whatever. Well, you know, 
a Gillian bearing, Skiff bearings, a Delrin bearing. It's just a matter of what works for that knife, you know? And for this knife, it's the stock steel bearings put in what I would call backwards, um, and a, um, o-ring in there to keep everything in place at least you know i'll leave that in there brent can always easily take that out so that is your um to burk off knives small streesh disassembly and first impressions i'm actually impressed with this knife if i could get one that was maybe had double lugs or something um and had a little bit of a stronger detent i think i would entertain buying one so um, that's it guys thank you brent backpack b go check them out i love you all i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later